Hello. Um, I have recently started using Julia as my programming language of choice for engineering, modeling, and numerical simulations. Um, Julia is a relatively new language, which has some similarities to MATLAB and other similarities to Python. Um, with one distinct difference, it is a lot faster than both of those. It is still a dynamic language and an interactive language, so you don't have to statically type your variables, etc., to achieve that speed, but it achieves that speed by just-in-time compilation. Um, and I have experienced speedups of two orders of magnitude easily from com by coming from MATLAB code or Python code to the similar implementation in Julia. The installation of Julia is straightforward. We download the installer. Um, I recommend a 64-bit version. Um, and I would not go for the long-term release, but go for the recent release. There's pretty much going on in development in Julia. So the current version is 1.6.2, which I've been using um, for the last few months. Well, for the last month in 1.6.2, but I've been using 1.6 for the last. So the installer is going to download, and then we can double click that and install Julia. Julia will, by default, install in the user space. So you don't need to have administrator rights. You can install Julia system wide if you run it as an administrator, but most of you will need to run this on university workstations. So you can install this in your user directory. Um, you'd want to add Julia to the path, is otherwise some programs might not be able to find it. And then we click Next. So the installation process will then run through rather quick. The whole installation of Julia has about half a gigabyte. Um, and once the installation is finished, we can run Julia. You can also open the documentation, which will open in the browser. So we have the documentation of Julia here, and also download it. There's plenty more documentation available for the individual packages that we're going to use. And if you want to get an overview of what Julia can do, have a look at the diff um, Julia webpage, which you will find at julialang.org. Um, Starting Julia, you will see the REPL, um, which is the interactive um, terminal for Julia. You can start typing Julia code in here. And what would any introduction be without a Hello World program, which just looks like this, Julia. So this is the installation of the main Julia package. Um, you can do quite a lot in the interactive uh, REPL, but um, in order to do real things in Julia, you want most likely um, a more powerful environment. Um, I can recommend three. Uh, Pluto JL is reactive notebooks, which is a new thing in Julia, which is pretty useful if you want to play with parameters or want to develop interactive notebooks for teaching or for students to play with concepts. Then if you know Python, you will know Jupyter. Um, Jupyter also understands 
Julia. In fact, the Jew in Jupiter stands for Julia. And VS Code, uh, Microsoft's um, IDE, has a Julia extension, which is very powerful as well. And if you're coming from MATLAB, that may be the closest you can get to that environment in that you know from MATLAB. I will go through um, Pluto and Jupiter uh, 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 through these in separate videos. We'll start with Pluto and VS Code, and then I'll move on to installing Jupiter, which will require a full Python installation. So that's a bit more involved, but Pluto and VS Code are reasonably straightforward to install. And I'll show you how to do that in another video.